Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio. So today we need to take a look at, oh, Terrastal Festival. It's shaping up to be a very good set over in Japan, as we've been talking about. But we've got some new cards that have gone and been revealed from the set. Some new things about which we should be getting rather excited. And I'm going to start off with a reprint that is going to make fans in Japan incredibly happy. It's Pheasant Dipty. Because Pheasant Dipty is about a $10 card right now over in Japan. I'm being a little fast and loose with the currency conversion. But it's not a million miles away. So it's about a $10 card right now. It is a pain. And the reason it's about a $10 card right now is because it's incredibly playable. It's got that ability whereby if you had a Pokemon KO'd on the previous turn, you get to draw three cards. It's one of the best cards in the game. It's like genuinely one of the very best cards in the entire game. And it's seeing play in just a million different decks. And this isn't an alternate art card. It's not a new print or any of that. It will for what it's worth. And I love that they do this in these Japanese sets. Even though it's very subtle and it doesn't matter. And half the people will not even notice. But I love the fact that they actually put it with a new set number and set symbol. So here you can see it is Scarlet and Violet 8A. 104 out of 107. Doesn't really matter. Other than that the card is identical. But I really like the fact that they go out of their way here to make the cards differentiatable. Is that a word? I'm pretty sure it's a word. From the version that we already had. And I like that. The card is more available. The price of the card will come down. This is wonderful news. And yet, if you really want to try and tell it apart from the original, you absolutely can. Most people won't care. But it's there just in case, and I think that's awesome. But this just kind of goes back to what I've been saying about this set really all along. And it's not just this set. It's these reprint sets generally that we see over in Japan. I adore the fact that Japan go out of their way to go, look, it's going to be a bit of a reprint set. We're going to be doing a bunch of reprints. But we're not... Just reprinting random cards here. We're reprinting playable cards. I'm not sure if I've made this point well enough. So let me make it now. Just like in previous special sets in Japan. There is a guaranteed Pokemon EX per pack. Every pack that you open will have a Pokemon EX inside. Which means that the pull rates for each of the EXs in this set are going to be much better. It means that every time you buy a box of this set, you're getting 10 Pokemon EX. And it means that, I mean, not only are we getting a new print of Fez and Dipty, which in and of itself is a wonderful thing, but the new print we're getting of Fez and Dipty is actually going to have a pretty good pull rate because of the whole 1 EX per pack malarkey. I love that Japan does this with these special sets. And it also means that if you're in Japan... And you want to play the Pokemon trading card game. These end of year sets are just beyond phenomenal. For building up your staples of playable cards nice and quickly. It's brilliant. I'm a fan. I love it. There was one other card that was shown off alongside Pheasant Dipty. Which I do believe is not as exciting. But still a very cool card that sees a huge amount of play. It's Counter Catcher. It's that one whereby if you're behind on prizes, you can gust one of your opponent's bench Pokemon into the active. It is any gusting, grab any Pokemon on an item card, which is great, with the fairly sizable downside that you can only use this card if you're behind on prizes. But make no mistake about it, it's still a phenomenal card. It's often seen as kind of a one-off, but it is a card that we see a lot that sees a huge amount of play all over. And once again, it's just another example of an incredibly playable card. Everyone needs a few copies of this in their binder, in their bulk, whatever you want to phrase it. You're going to need this card if you play the card game. So yeah, if you've been around a while, you probably picked a bunch of these up previously. Of course you did. But there's going to be plenty of Pokemon fans out there who didn't pick this up for whatever reason or are new to the game. And oh look, 
You're opening packs here and you're finding them. And it's going to be another one of those sets where every pack that you open, you get a whole bunch of playable cards coming out every pack. And that's awesome. But there's more. Like Zartu. And if this Zartu looks a little bit familiar, it probably should. It is, of course, the pre-release promo from Paradox Rift. Straight reprint of the card that's in Paradox Rift. But now we've got the alternate art version of it. Which is fantastic. It's one of those pre-release promos. And I've made this point before and it's very bizarre to me. Japan will make an effort to print a bunch of the pre-release promos in these end-of-year sets. But they don't go out of their way to print all of them. And I'm not really sure why they don't print all of them, but for some reason they don't. Little bit weird, frankly, but at least we are getting the Zartu, and the Zartu is very, very playable. It's got that ability that lets you attach an extra psychic energy during your turn, and if you do, you go and draw a couple of cards. I am still quite flabbergasted, frankly, that this has not seen more play. This card seems absolutely, absurdly, brokenly good. And don't get me wrong, like, I've seen it popping up in a bunch of decks here and there. But I really expected this to be, like, a center of the metagame card. Energy acceleration plus card draw on a single prize Pokemon. But it's, it's proven to be a good card, don't get me wrong. It's a good card. People play it. Everyone likes it. Everyone acknowledges that it's a good card. But it's a good card that you'll see popping up in decks here and there, rather than actually seeing this as, oh, it's winning every tournament or, you know, top cutting every tournament. And alongside that, we also saw that we are getting a reprint, a straight reprint of Earth and Vessel, which again great card. Earth and Vessel is not an occasional use card. Earth and Vessel is an absolute slam dunk staple in, in, in just a million different decks. It's the one that lets you discard a card from your hand and then search your deck for two basic energy. It's, it's actually nominally an ancient card, but it doesn't really matter that it's an ancient card and it's so ridiculously over the top good that it just sees a bunch of play all over the place. I adore this card. It is a wonderful card. So, yeah. Earth and Vessel, great card. Sees a huge amount of play. Is an absolute staple. It's, it's, really, it's one of those cards that's so good. It's really a staple of the game, rather than necessarily any particular deck. But it's another one of those where, yeah, sure, every, like, serious Pokemon player who goes to tournaments regularly, yes, they've got a playset of this in their binder. Obviously, they do. But there's going to be a bunch of people that don't, and that's awesome. But if you like your reprints a little more legendary, well, don't worry, we've got you there as well. We have reprints of Coridon and Miraidon, which, again, should look a little bit familiar. If we start off with Maraid on there, you're going to look at this and go, hang on a second, Wossy. That's a pre-release promo. Yes. Yes, it is. That is the Maraid on that was a pre-release promo for Temporal Forces. And it's just another example of Japan getting these pre-release promos. As a side note, and I don't know if anybody else cares about this, but I genuinely do. I love a good stamp. But I also really like having the option of having these, because this card only exists as a stamped card in the West. So having uh, an opportunity to have this as an unstamped card, where the artwork's shown off a little bit better, I like that as well. Uh, for what it's worth, the Maridon is a pretty good card, honestly. You search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to your future Pokemon in any way you like. And then shuffle your deck. But bearing in mind, it does 40 damage. 40 damage isn't quite enough, if I'm honest with you. But being an ancient Pokemon means you've got stuff like Future Boost Energy Capsule and stuff like Caballion, which means that you're going to actually be able to do a bunch more damage and then all of a sudden you're KOing while accelerating energy. It is a card that we've seen see play here and there. And I'm, I'm not talking about this as kind of a game wrecking card again but i am absolutely talking about this as a sees a bunch of play everybody should love it as for the coridon 
This is a card which I always thought was going to be better than it's actually ended up being. It's the one that does 30 damage for each of your ancient Pokemon in play. And it's important to know, as much as I may have made the mistake on stream, it's not a fighting Pokemon, so it doesn't hit for weakness. Still a great card, don't get me wrong, but not a fighting Pokemon. It's a dragon Pokemon. They're both dragon Pokemon. This still does see a bunch of play in these ancient box decks. It's still a card that sees a bunch of play, but I think if it was fighting, it would have proven to be a much better card in the long run. Still very cool. Still absolutely sees play. So we saw the pair of them, and that was quite nice. What else did we see? Feraligator. And yes, if anybody's wondering, because look, there's blatantly a bit of a theme to this video at this point. Yeah, Feraligator's a uh, pre-release promo as well. Feraligator absolutely was a pre-release promo in Temporal Forces. And now we've got another version of it. Yay! And now, I'm going to be honest with you here. I don't think this is a particularly good card. I'm sorry if I upset anybody by saying that. I love me some for Alligator. It is my Gen 2 first partner Pokemon of choice. And it's got a really enticing ability to wrench your heart. It lets you put five damage counters on this Pokemon and then do 120 damage more this turn. 280 for two energy. But it's another one of these situations where, look, Temporal Force has come out a while ago. If this was going to be a great card, we would already know that it was a great card. It would already be seeing play, and I'd be saying, well, it's popping up in decks here, or that it's not. Incidentally, it's not really popping up in decks anywhere. So you have my apologies for this one. It's a cool card, and it's a new print, and it's a pre-release promo and all of that. But it's um, it, it's not a playable card. I've got a bunch of boxes of this on order, and frankly, I intend ordering a bunch more. It's a set I'm very excited about. I love the idea of opening up these pre-release promos without the stamp in Japanese. I also love the idea of getting another Japanese Fezzendipti and a bunch more playable staples. So that if I want to make a Japanese deck, it's going to be a lot easier. Terrastal Festival is shaping up to be a phenomenal set. There's your latest set of reveals. So now it's over to you guys. Would you like this level of set over in the West where we're getting all of these reprints? Are you picking up any Trastal Festival or are you waiting for Prismatic Evolutions? Let me know in the comment section, would you? Good us. Me nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we're talking about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.